or they put them together. Put them together in the off lane. Five seconds That's very remaining. good. You could do that. Medusa. Yeah, you could do that. Oh! Puppy now walks tower under it, and they attack. okay, they smoked under the dire of Purple One. Top tower is under this was attack. actually pinged out as well by the SD. So Yol knows what's going on. He's water. still hovering around that top rune, however, and Arteezy. No shark of available with a surge on Puppy. Yol, he was the man that pinged the movement. And then it ends up giving first blood over to the Timbersoft. Maybe he just assumed they were going to come straight up to that top lane and not go through the river, but yeah. Void on Illidan, that Iron Shell is burning through his shield really quickly. And the body block by Puppy is there perfectly too. Iron Man has to tether over to lend a bit of an aid, but now actually ends up getting himself killed for his efforts. See what Fantastic River gonna do to try to change this pace around because oh, they're, they're bringing heroes down to Envy. Yeah, Laguna. Like Pasha, Pasha's waiting. You've got Pilot Eye around the corner. Uh, the Hawk is actually scouting him out. Now, Raw Envy. He knew what was coming at him. They didn't have like, the way the Beastmaster either. was posturing, you knew you had something. Okay. Now you're gonna actually relocate in the Lena. So, Life Striker raises up a Pilot Eye die and F5 get a good couple heroes. Both into the hands of that Lena. For his normal build up. I was just tossing it up with uh with like SD disruption into Light Strike Array, you also have to let you get yeah, out of it. That would definitely so, yeah. So that was in the back of my mind for it, but it makes sense he goes into the blood zone too. Chakra forward, Yol, that Chakra was gonna hold him in there just long enough that Eternal Envy could Chikuchi through, find the kill, and they push for more. We're yeah. chained forward, BZZ, Light Strike Array in the middle of absolutely everything. Laguna! Oh boy! As a quick time lapse, the right time. Stone Gaze coming out from Illidan. Arteezy tries to turn himself for a split second. No one gets Dyer's turned to stone, and now they can turn, try and fight. Iron Man relocate off in one second time. Finger of Death will cancel that one. Roars on Pumpy, but can you kill off? Yep, they can. They kill off the Night Stalker, but there's bugs everywhere, and Secret are disengaging. Team Secret, they have to have really good plays to counter. Oh. So Pilot Eye needs that good initiation area. This would be a good window for them to take a fight. This is just before Bulba will be finishing up that mechanism. Easy. Chain forward. Shocker is out. We're going to jump ourselves quickly for a bit. Let the lag end. And, uh, well, you call Bulba in position. Able to get that Laguna Blade off. But Arteezy with a Shocker. Pilot Eye. Finger of Death tries to return the damage. But RMN's already there with the six charges on the tether. Pilot Eye dies now. Going to drop. And Arteezy's in too deep. Yolda. Doesn't have the purge, but he's trying to stack up the poison. Nice. And with the disruption, they wrap around him, and they're gonna bring down Artur. He just finished the Bloodstone too, so welcome to eight charges. Puppy's trying to creep skip the wave, but he's got no life and also no mana. And uh -oh. with the relocate, they're coming up after him. The spirits, oh, he doesn't have mana. Anyone with him either. He's short yeah. of mana. Get of all in this Medusa, your best bet is to be able to. You know, maintain vision control and be able to decide on what fights you know you'll be able to win. What the hell? Good for you, RTZ. You, you got those trees. Greenpeace able to get out of range of the mana drain of Pylai Die, which he did prioritize as well. That's four points up in the mana drain. They're trying to make the most out of the control timing to, to just reduce Illidan's power. She's turning into a stage right boss, and with so much defensive preparation by F5 with the disruption and with the, the Wisp, it's going to be hard, oh, but... Good go. Go. There goes the SD, Illidan. Turns on the stone gaze, he's trying to get rid of the bugs during this time, but Puppy sees all, thanks to that Aghanim set for the stairs, Heather forward, Iron Man, going to go out, but this actually just means that you get a guarantee to two kills. Hmm. Oh. And now they're going to see the Wisp come back. Yeah. Well, a bit awkward there. And unfortunately, it's going to cost that 5 quite a bit. They had a good siege on forward here. Got the tier 3 down, and, you know, they lose a couple of names for it, but advantage of that little window when he doesn't have it. That's the perfect point, man. Like, it's, yeah. uh, it's the fact that Envy hasn't pulled his item yet, and you're going to show the butterfly. It's going to be big if they can contest Roshan. But Pylite died, low mana. He's uh, as in for mana drain, already gets rid of the illusions with one to scout out. There's poison Roshan, they just jump oh. up, they want the fight, the back is there. Beautiful. With the double thumb from Pylite Die. You can take a fight at Yol as well as Pasha. Defensive imprisonment is going to actually buy a little bit of extra time at Illidan. Stands his ground, still no stone gaze. It's on cooldown for 12 more seconds. They're trying to burn through the shield, but it's taking forever. And Bulba, he tries to run out in front of Illidan. That was not going to work. 
Poppy's made a break for the tree line. Silence up BZD and keeps him out. It's Arteezy who is now able just to chain himself out. As Radiant actually lost that courier in the middle of that fight as well. Ended up dying right on top of the Arteezy chain out point. And now it's going to be F5 who grab right. Roshan. And get Nagus the Immortal. I actually thought that was going to be a secret all day kind of a fight. It, it uh, looked like a wonderful Agus. for F5. I guess. Oh, my bad. <laughs> And they, uh, you see F5, they're prepped, they have the Hawk. Beastmaster just itchy on the trick here jumping, but ooh, they got well, easy. And that's that Aegis is quickly lift. Short lift. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little odd as well. Uh, 10 11. Time lapse. He's looking for RMN. Needs to Shikuchi out. He's good, but F5 is still here. Oh, wait, are they Sieg coming over? They're coming over. Envy wants to scour him from behind, but the ball is going to scout this out. Yeah. There goes your smoke. It breaks on BZZ, but the blink roar up. They want pumping. If they can take his gem with it, then Pasha is going to be laughing all the way. The bank, the back will keep him away for a bit, but not long enough. Now the vision game goes away of F5, and Team Seeker and Nawala hurt. Eternal Envy, the Yules will send him up. They want the kill, and he hits the ground. They got it too. He can't hide Envy. No buyback for Envy for a full minute. F5 are charging down this mid lane, Toby. This is two lanes of practice. This what is actually is? two lanes of right. F5. F5. Yep. Taking it to secret here with the Medusa Illidan. This They're is... playing terrific Dota. The Medusa Radiant's is so big, it can't be stopped. I think Pasha has been one of the most instrumental like heroes in this game so far. And the combos are just not landing for Team Radiant's Secret. Has wow. This actually turned out to be a good game, like you said. A close one at that. F5. Not backing down and out. They move in. One set of racks. Let's see if there's a way Seeker can stop nice it. Nice done. Arteezy going to get purged up as well. He needs just to run this off. Thanks to the surge. He's able to do so. To be honest, I thought Seeker's high ground defense could be a hell of a lot better than this, but they just never. They can't. Found a good opening. Now Bulba back. A four man rabbit done with oh. a but still, it's too little too late. Hilden is so fat right now. He is going to fit through the burrow door and just take down Poppy. Underneath his own tier 4 towers. RMN might be stunned for a bit. But Arteezy, you want to keep fighting this one? RMN just tethers himself down. Arteezy, okay, he gets the chain. They get the gem of True Side back again. So, a small recovery. And that was thanks to that, that, that initial kill over from the Beastmaster. BTZ lost as well. And Team Secret being pushed to the edge. Fight in their terms. And with a puppy Night Stalker Rags, you should always be fighting on your terms. You see Illidan standing over there. This is initiation. F5 all here. Ultimate wise, everyone's got everything. Illidan's in very, very deep. But really, it's Team Secret. They bypass the front line. They're looking for the back fight. The war on Envy, keeping him out. Can he climb us? No, he can't. The Tuna Blade will kill him off in time. But Arteezy is still a two for one. And there's your buyback. They want to come back into the fight with the time lapse. It's the Eternal Envy special looking to just put in the damage. But Illidan's so big. Puppy can't run away. The Scarly locks him down. And now it's Arteezy. I mean, uh, Timotating away. Bulba can't get himself out. There's too many illusions from Illidan. Try and slow him down. There's just some from Pilot Eye. Finally, some space being created. And Arteezy, they can come back down. But can they kill the Colossus? They can they everyone. kill Illidan? The Hex is up. He's still got evasion. They still need more damage. Arteezy has no more mana. They have stuns available. And they will bring him down. Finally, Whoa. Illidan will have his first death of the game. 37 minutes in and don't want it to go on any longer. Obs and sentries behind. Arteezy in through the front. They've lost the creep wave, however. You have Pylite Dyus behind, so they don't have the combo position. You've still got Envy attacking that top lane. So while the battle continues, Elder in front. He needs to bring down this melee rack to make this push worth it. And he's going to be able to do it with the man to left behind. Now you turn on the stone gate. You get our TC to chain away. Remember what you're here for. Fortification slowed it down. And they actually just relocate up the top lane. They kill off Envy, but Envy already took out the top lane. Yep. He took out the top rack, but they're coming back. The night time will end. And how many do they bring back? They bring back Illidan. He'll isolate up Puppy. The rest of Seeker, they're diving forward. They want the leader. The Yules will dodge for now, but that's still double Chakra into the chain. Finger of death. Yol will defensively imprison himself up. As he comes back out, he'll also die. 
Iron Man tethering your heart away. Needs to run with Illidan. Four stars to get out of range of Bulba. But Bulba with the bling dagger. Too easy to keep to keep up with him. And now even Pasha doesn't want to be involved in this either. Too bad. <laughs> he goes down. Arteezy beyond godlike now. He's up to 28 charges on his Bloodstone. He gets his Octary Core and he just puts it to work. To see if they have any sort of respectable high ground defense. They Old have smart. good wave clear, but... Arteezy moves forward. Iron Man's the one to be see out of that. He needs to get himself out of here. Finger of death back. very, very quick. The smoke flank is coming over. It's actually down into Roshan. Pasha gonna focus on Envy. Can he burn up the manor in time? Yep! They bring down a turtle Envy. And Illidan, he's turning Poppy to stone. They need more damage. And there it is. The rapier pickup. Illidan, he is gonna be the manliest of all men. Poppy will drop. And it is F5. <laughs> Who uh -oh. have brought down three heroes? They want to get Roshan as well. Arapier isn't enough to uh, repair Envy's deficit. No. But he'll be happy if he can get a puppy with the axe, able to see him pretty deep. Y'all. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Hard Eye just fought. They want the kill. Stone Gate turns on. Y'all are a man. Actually, the gate's enough for the damage. The will end up surviving. The roar goes up on puppy. And now you can say goodbye. That true vision. Bulba wants to go for the back combo. He can't really get it off. The gem is still sitting on the deck here as a ten levy ripping apart BDZ. Ooh. But Illidan, he hits harder. <laughs> he is a back truck at the moment. The relocate coming forward. They'll see Pilot IT being out as a turn levy. Shakushi's himself away to oh, safety. Man. Seconds no buyback. That's Secret's best high ground defense. He has vacuum wall, and he can't be there to defend. This is bad for Secret. Let's see if they can hold. They have fantastic wave clear, though. Double yep. chakram. And we see the mini wombo combo factor. They have to hold oh, the get here. He's jumping. He's going for the back line. He wants to find the kills. He does not want to deal with Illidan. And rightly so. But he now has to chain himself back inside as Illidan slowly forcing his way into Mega's puppy. Has to go set to survive through all of this. You bring down the Beastmaster, the back line. It's Eternal Envy trying to ping, uh, actually keep them distracted. So Illidan has no extra support. He doesn't even need it. He's a one-man army at the moment, and they bring down Envy. A hundred seconds without the Weaver. Four star from Puppy, but the damage from Illidan is just too strong. You can't repel firepower of this magnitude of Medusa. You will continue to force your way through, and you will be taking this game F5 off Team Secret. Fantastic five, the better open qualifier, Team Toby. I can't believe it. My god. Team Secret. If only they face Bulba up against the wall, wall up there, it is. there it is, but it's not enough. You get one, but you still got Illidan. And even the Illidan illusion is not going to be able to stand to Illidan. It wait, looks wait, like wait. It's Can they drain him? No, Pilot, I can't even stand here. Illidan finishes the game. Our team wow. is dying, and there it is. What is from Fantastic Five, man. I got to say, came into this match, it's like, yeah, secret. Yeah, secret, but they got the Medusa farmed out of control.